Hey guys, welcome back to another chemistry video. First off, I want to apologize for any noise you might hear, including wind, or cars driving by. That's because I'm doing this outside. I'm really not willing to do this inside. Alright, today we're going to be uh, making and testing out the properties of a compound called manganese oxide 7, or as I like to call it, manganese heptoxide. It's formed by the reaction of potassium permanganate and sulfuric acid, which is concentrated, I might add. I'm going to do this in a porcelain dish and I'm going to react multiple uh, both organic um, organic salts and organic compounds with it and we're going to see the reaction and hopefully we'll get some flames. Alright, let's get to making it. First, I'm going to add sulfuric acid to the dish. Not a whole lot. This reaction doesn't need a whole lot. And I'm going to set this back. And now I'm going to add a little bit of potassium permanganate. Now this will form permanganic acid at first and the manganese sulfate or something like that, potassium sulfate, I don't know. And um, the sulfuric acid will dehydrate the permanganic acid for manganese heptoxide. And that will be seen as a green color. Alright, that just reminded me, I need to find something to stir this with. So, yeah, just a little more permanganate, you can see that nice green color. I don't know how well you can see that on the camera, but um, it's definitely apparent to me. So, uh, gee, that should be good. So, we'll find something to mix that up with and we'll get right to mixing the stuff. Alright, found the solution to that. Tungsten rod. Tungsten hopefully won't react with it. Uh, I don't think it will. Tungsten's pretty unreactive. You can see some of the little flakes of the heptoxide shining on the top. Uh, I did this outside in the sunlight so you could uh, see it better. Also because natural ventilation. I don't really have a fume hood yet, but I plan on building one soon. I'm streak a little bit up on the side and you can see that nice green color of manganese heptoxide in contact with sulfuric acid. You might be able to see some wisps and that's because uh, I believe it hydrolyzes on contact with uh, water and it'll just be some sort of acid vapor. But uh, again, you can see that nice green color. I'm just going to lay that down on this metal plate right here. We'll go ahead and add the first ingredient. Alright, here's some methanol. This should react. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Yeah, just the wind's blowing. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. I don't want to add too much. Uh, knowing this stuff, it's probably going to decompose on its own and start blowing up or whatever. Pretty vigorous. That looks to be the last of the methanol, so that's methanol for you. Let me try ethanol. Uh, as a side note, while this stuff is losing its shit in the bowl right there, uh, I do smell some ozone, and I believe that is due to the decomposition of the material. So, just interesting observation there. Right, here goes some ethanol. Pretty good. That's some pretty temperamental stuff. I like it. I want more. Let's try out some other things. Okay, a new batch of the heptoxide, and I've, go, I've gone ahead and uh, put on both my lab coat and my uh, butyl gloves, because this shit means business. I've also put on my uh, face shield, as you might be able to hear now, because I probably sound like I'm uh, on the other side of a tunnel. So, uh, alright, uh, let's see. Next thing we're going to try is called, uh, it's called glycerol trioleate. Yeah, you might know it better as olive oil, but that is the name for it. 
So we're going to go ahead and uh, put that in just one sec if I can find my pipette in my pot. Alright, here it is, glycerol trioleate. You know it is olive oil versus manganese heptoxide. Whoa. That's very interesting. I don't know if you're able to see it, but it's like eating away at it. That's really weird. Oh, it's probably because it's immiscible. That would make sense. Very unusual. Now just a little bit more over on the side that's more reactive. Well, there's something. You know, I swear all the noisiest vehicles have to go by right by my house when I'm filming. Alright, that was kind of boring, but sort of interesting. Let's go on to the next thing. Now, just coming back to this, if you'd all be so respectful as to have a moment of silence for a fallen comrade. If this thing would fucking focus, it would see the dead ass fly that's in there. Get fucked, dickhead. All right. Next one, I'm just gonna say fuck it and uh, go for it. Yeah, you know what it is. Let's try it. Hydrazine hydrate. Okay, so I just noticed that that entire time it was out of focus, so. Oh, sorry. Alright, here we go. Hydrazine hydrate, if it'll come out of the pipette, versus manganese heptoxide. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna get a, a little bit more. Hang on. Here we go. That was odd. Oh. Alright, that was pretty underwhelming, so let me move on to the next thing. All right, in goes some toluene. That's more like what I would... Jeez, I can't talk today. That's what I like to see. Next up, some citric acid.
That was all right. Let's move on to the next thing. Here's some erythritol. Not bad, it's more like it. Let's move on to the next thing. All right, next one we're gonna do some DNPMT, or dinitroso uh, pentamethylene tetramine. Uh, I have no idea how this is gonna go, so um, I'm really gonna kinda stand back for this one. Okay, DNPMT, here we go. Here's what it looks like. All right, I, didn't th I don't think I put in enough. Let me go get some more. Wind okay, here we go. If you want to find out how I made this, check out a previous video I made on it. Now let's try some shittily nitrated nitrocellulose. Use my forceps here. It's good to go. Oh, of course, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it just doesn't want to work, huh? I know! I know! I'm late! You son of a bitch! Okay. Okay. Alright friends, so I really fucked up. I put in, uh, well not put in, I accidentally dumped in way too much permanganate, so, uh, might as well, you know, work with what I have. So, next I'm going to go with some, uh, ferrous oxalate, you know, at least what won't blow away in the wind, and, uh, go ahead and add that. 